Welcome to the 1% Club. We're glad you're here. This is where we teach you how to do what only 1% of the agents do in the world and EXP. Look who I have. I have a special guest with me today. Hey, the man, the myth, the legend, Jay Kinder. What's up, y'all? I come to New York. Doesn't Frank, he's looking a little bit like Matt there. Yeah. <laughs> so, hey, Frankie, good to see What's you up, guys. Frank? So, Jay was downstairs. I go, get up to my room right now. We're starting the 1% Club. And I got Randy Bird in here. Where's Randy Bird? Is he here yet? There he is. Randy there Bird, is. Coach Randy Bird. You don't know if you know this. Yeah, not... He looks like he's in a Randy, place. tell everybody what happened to you on Saturday. Did you get in a car crash? Did you did you land a plane in someone's backyard? Tell fell them. Fell on my skateboard, skinned my knee. Yes, yes. Um, so there's a story. I'll tell you the story since Frank Crandall's here. He knows the story. Chris Okamura said it on Facebook. I'm famous and it's bad. I'm famous for being at like a golf course and talking to a cute girl and saying, hey, excuse me, are you married? They go, nope. And I would go, I'm like, um, what are you doing Saturday? They're like, Saturday? I don't know why. What's going on? And I'm like, do you have a white dress? And they laugh. And it's been a joke forever. Frank's laughing. But actually, it happened this weekend. Um, I met a girl. I said, what are you doing Saturday? She actually asked me to meet her in Vegas because she had to nail me down. I'm a closer, but it didn't work out. And then we got married. And I'm super excited. And uh, Kirsty Bird, I'd married. like to welcome to the world, and uh, had some of my my closest Randy, people there, and man. it was really really special. And she looked like a million dollars, and I'm just super super fortunate. But thanks for bringing that up, Brent. And uh, yeah, my story has been retired. That is awesome, Randy. Congratulations. We were they just wanted to be just the two of them in Las Vegas, and my wife's like, "We're going." I'm yeah, like, that's how it started. Puerto Rico. It's not Kathy's like it's like I'm not having any part of it. I'm going. I go, well, if we could golf before and after, I'm in selfishly. That's a true story, too, because Brent said no. And then he's like, well, the wolf's close. And if you book a tea time, I'll be there. And that's how we got Brent. And I got he beat he beat me 4-0. It's never happened. So happy. I wasn't gonna say that. I'm gonna you. say it for you. I got spanky spanky. I got whooped, <laughs> man. All right. Well, um, let's get this one percent club going, but we couldn't start it without congratulating. Uh, Coach Randy Bird, who is now Mr. and Mrs. Bird. He's a married man, Luann's happy for you. She's clapping there. All right. So a couple of things. I was talking to Jay before we started here. And Randy, I want you to chime in too. We were talking about the most valuable way to recruit in the current market. And Jay said it was um, finding out. Do you remember what you just said? Well, well there's two things. I mean, you know, the I'm always looking for the people that are looking looking for something better. That's who I'm always looking for. I'm always whale hunting. I'm always looking for that. Mm -hmm. But the primary way that I have conversations with people is about production. Like that's where that's where it starts. There's so many agents out there that are just trying to go from their A to their B. We've talked about this a million times. Um, I never get tired of saying it, but like you're just trying to help people. Like that's it. If you just try to help people, uh, recruiting is is a byproduct to that. Come come from contribution. And then he said to me, he goes, I just ask him, what do they need? What are they looking for? How can I analysis? Help? Yep. Yeah, because you could, if you have a powerful woman, you could introduce her to Marguerite Crispello. You could introduce her to Joanne Bullen. You could introduce her to Don Brown, uh, Crystal Hugh. There's so many amazing women. I don't want to leave. There's a bunch of you on here, but or same thing. And and so with, with the men, you know, maybe he's a young gun rock star. Well, Jared Davis is sitting right there from Richmond, Virginia. And so connect them and don't talk about EXP. Help them with their production, right? Yep. And, yeah. And so then that leads to conversations. Randy, what do you chime in? What do you think about this? Well, first of all, I don't like going after Jay Kinder. He's a beast and he's the number one guy in the world for a reason. Brent Gove, number one guy in the world for a reason. You guys are on the number one call in the world for a reason. But it's exactly that. It needs analysis. Don't put your agenda on them. And so if your agenda is on them, that's a problem. You've got to listen. You've got one mouth and two ears for a reason. And we get that screwed up sometimes. And so for me, it's all about needs analysis. And then listen, if they're professional recruiters, they're interested in recruiting. If they're not, they're not interested in recruiting yet. Right. They don't understand the opportunity. So you can't lead with that. Many people lead with retirement strategies and all these things. That's not where they were. You got to meet them where they are. Now they're tired and sick of production. And they're like, if I if I have to lock unlock another, you know, lockbox, I'm probably going to, you know, go on a murder spree or something. That's different. Then you could talk about what they need to get out of that. But in the beginning, it's a needs analysis, really focusing on the simplicity of how easy this could be. 
You can give me the hardest objection in the world and I will transfer it like that. And I'll say, okay, forget about that. I'm a connector. Who can I connect you with? What do you need? And everybody needs that, right? Hey, I just got off the phone with Jake Hinder. He was like the number one or two guy in the world for Cobalt Banker. I can connect you with them if you're open to it. And if they're not open to it, they're not my people. Right. Plain and simple. If they're not open to that question, they're not my avatar. They're not my people. They may be later, but for right now, they got an asterisk next to their name, right? They failed. Yep. And so it's just that simple, honestly, and we complicate it. Absolutely. Yep. What what is what is your superpower? Like I'm looking at Matt Plummer here. He's a master at building wealth, paying off debt, helping people run teams. So if I were Matt, I would go from that angle, right? Matthew Stewart, something about the maths today. He's a master prospector. He's just a beast on the phones. Let me help you set up your dialers. Let me help you do this and help you get some listings and go help them. I was the open house guy. Let me sit down with you, <laughs> right, Jay? Ever. Right, best ever. And um, and, and so help them with that, and then and then and then when the timing's right, they will bring it up. If you love, if you pour enough sugar and syrup and whipped cream and love and and hug them and and uh, you know they they're gonna say, okay, man, tell me about EXP. Like today, I just spoke here where I, I'm gonna show them right here. Let's see, a, that's 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 Times Square, baby, right behind me. That is Times Square. I'm at the Marriott Marquis overlooking Times Square. I've never been here. I've, can you really? That? I've never been never here. Been in New York. I never even came to the Ring the Bell. I was getting invited. I'm too oh, busy, man. I'm too busy growing. But, um, but um, you know, I would say book events. That's the, like if yeah. you're not doing events, like I just booked an event in L.A. So um, that's actually helping Lu Luann. That's ha happening. In LA, I booked an event. says that I need support from agents. So, group, boom, booked an event. Um, I talked to Marguerite. I need help in Eldorado Hills. Boom, I booked an event. Like, well, that's you, Brent. No, that is you. You can do an event, and then you can bring in a speaker to help support you if you don't have the 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 like, bring people, involve people, get some talent in there. And then it doesn't have to be 100 people, 200 people, 500 people. Some of the best events are 10, 15 people spending four or five hours doing a business plan in a conference room at a title company or a mortgage company. Have I can't teach that. Who said you have to teach it? Take immediate action and then invite people to that. And then those doors will open for you added value. Right. Thoughts, Jay? Yeah, absolutely. Well, I mean, you know, I think success leaves clues. Every, every time I turn around, Brit's somewhere else, you know what I'm saying? Doing an event for somebody. And so like getting, you know, this is where you know you have a lot of interactions that happen all at one time, and your your opportunity to build relationships. I mean, this is what Shelly did, uh, or Sheila did. Sheila Sheila crushed meeting people at events, meeting people at events, getting their information, getting them on calls, trying to create a relationship with them, see how they can work together, and and look what look how that worked out for her. Yeah, like, events are probably the number one thing you could do is if you're not getting in rooms with other people. Um, you know, you're you're just you're you're not trying hard enough. I love it. And Randy, I want you to chime in in one second on that. Matt Plummer, I heard you say you're going into an event to meet a bunch of agents to help them, but also to meet people. What? What? Uh, uh, give me the state. Uh, yeah, well, you don't have to say the event. Do you remember the event? You said, "Oh yeah, I'm going to go show up, see where I can add value." Blah blah blah. Meet people, mix it up. It was in a few months. Do you remember that? Yeah, it's in yeah, it's in two weeks in Orlando. Um, one, I. I, I'm a friend of the, the the event host, and I have some people in that city in Orlando, and um, there's a few golf courses in Orlando, so uh, Florida is not a terrible place to to spend a few days. So I'm going to go see some friends, connect, meet new people, right? I mean, if I can add, you know, 10, 15, 20 people of helping them, you know, like Jay mentioned, like, hey, how can I help you get from A to B around either money or their business or prospecting or whatever it is, connect them to other people. Um, I mean, it's a home run. It's a win for everyone. I love it. By the way, I want you to raise your hand. I'm coming to you next, Randy. I want you to raise your hand and tell me what event you're attending to A, sharpen your axe and your sword, to be more productive in real estate. To You need to make money and, and to be profitable. And that's a great way to, to recruit is by being successful. But B, you're going to meet people. So if you're going to a NAW rep event, an ARIA event, a WCR, um, you know, Wailopo, I'm here at Rate Radio and TV Experts with Jay. And it's interesting. You go. You want to be a champion? Hang out with champions. Everybody in this room probably yeah. sells an average of how yeah. many homes. Oh, uh, I mean, the average is probably I would guess is 
250 probably average 250 homes a year on average and there's about 200 people here and so get in the right room so hit the reaction what event are you going to i want to hear like um in Sacramento, we got a PCAR event coming up. There's there's one in Roseville. There's one in Eldorado Hills. There's one in Elk, Elk Grove. I booked one in Plas, uh, Pleasantville, uh, Castro, Valley, Castro Valley. I got one in LA. I'm just we're just booking and going and running and gunning. It's fun. And so you guys got this. Um, Randy Bird, chime in. Add to that. Well, event. You know, listen. Back in the network marketing days was my first exposure to events. And they just told me from day one, events build belief and you can't do it on your own. And events carry a higher level of caliber of belief because you're seeing it from a different perspective. It's not one on one, the mass of many, the power of many. And I think people over overthink this, including myself in the past. I just watched, you know, my mentor, Brent Gove, just do an event, an event. I drove to Sacramento to an, do an event with Brent. He probably doesn't remember this. It was a lunch and learn. And there was three people in the room, but there was 17 pizzas and I was happy. There was three people in the room, right? It, But I got out of it because we were together at the event and it was at a title or lender's place. And this was probably six years ago when he first started the journey. Events build belief. Don't overthink it. Do a small event. Do an event at your house. Do an event at a restaurant. You don't pay for the restaurant. Just say, hey, we're having an event at this restaurant. If you got three or eight or 16, adjust accordingly, Right but get people together and do events. And the, the cool thing is get speakers to do it. You don't have to be everything. Like you can have an event and then just say, Jake Henderson Town, can you come to lunch, man? We're going to have a couple people there. And all of a sudden you start promoting Jake Henderson Town, come to lunch with us. It's it's on your own. I'm not buying your lunch, but you're going to get a lot of value out of this thing, right? And so just, just really focus on what you can do to work from event to an event. You know, like Matthew Stewart says, Book a meeting from a meeting. Never leave that event without the next event plan. Never leave the event without the next thing planned. And then you're just always cruising. You want to chime in? Or yeah, no, I mean, I mean, that's it, it's it's honestly it's what we've done. It's how we met each other. Um, all the best relationships I have in my entire life. I think I met somewhere at an event somewhere. Yeah. Um, yeah. I mean, it's you know to commit. You have to commit to that. It's a commitment. It's not easy. Especially not easy for flying from Puerto Rico, which I, I applaud you on all the events you're doing. It's yeah. not, but but that is what it takes. Like that's where the real fruit is going to come from. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, when I leave, I rock and roll. Right. <laughs> you get done. We um, get yourself out of the people pile. I the way I kind of knew you, but the way I really got to know you was I flew to Oklahoma City and I <laughs> yeah. came to your office, sat there for a day, and I got out of the people pile. You want to know Tina Call, Veronica Figueroa? You want to know Michelle Wilson? Get out of the people pile and go, Michelle, can I come shadow you for a day? Kim Frazier, can I come shadow Rosie Rodriguez in LA? Can I come shadow you for the day? Get out of the people pile and get out and about. It, 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 don't tell me it's expensive. Southwest Airlines, you are now free to move about the nation. It's uh, right, right, right. All right. So um, we were also talking about, um, you'll like this one. I don't know if you've ever heard it, and I hope you like it. They may have heard this, but how do you know you're on track? The way you know you're on track is if you have 100 people in your organization doing exactly what you're doing. They're putting on events or like in Sacramento, we we do the events for you. So you're just going to show up and bring people and you're bringing two, three, four, five guests every time. To, and you had a hundred people following that. Maybe if you're excited, it puts a smile on your face. If you have a hundred people, now if you go, ah, I wouldn't be that excited. Well, that means you're not doing the do. You're not doing the activity. Have you ever heard that? Oh, yeah. Have you heard that? I, I, you know, yeah. I heard it with you at, at, uh, at the event we were just at. Oh, in uh, uh, Maxwell. I can't Maxwell. teach him hey, nothing. He's still he dead. No, he's a sponge. Y'all got to give him credit for this. I was in the room, John Maxwell speaking. He's given three quotes from John Maxwell from that day, like two weeks ago in, in that event. And he was throwing fire out, like for sure. Maxwell crushed it. He was amazing. Absolutely. Yeah. So, um, so there you go. So, and, and, and just make the change. If you're not doing it, make the change. And, um, and then I will say this. If you're putting people in front of your sponsor or your sponsor, sponsor, or your sponsor, 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 every single week, you're going to grow. Yep. And if you're not doing that, you're in your head. And Tony Robbins says, if you're in your head, you're dead. dead. You're done. It's say la vie. So, um, hey, Brent, uh, can I talk on the events for one thing? I just want to give a coaching moment for this because I think this is so important. There are people going to an event. 
there are people going to the EXP events and the regional events and doing different things. And I experienced this myself in Cabo as I invited a front line. I'm not going to say names. Don't want to embarrass them, him or her. But they went there to partay. They didn't go there to learn. I never saw them inside the room. Right? So are you going to events? Are you going to big events and you think that you're all in on this stuff, but you're selfishly handling your stuff? You're making way to the pool. You're making way to the party. You're making way to all this stuff, but you're not purposeful about meeting people. It's about the connections like they just said. I made I met Jay Kinder in an event, and I made a point to make sure that Jay Kinder remembered my name when he didn't know me because he's somebody I want in my circle. And then that circle grew, and now we've golfed together. We've done different things together. This is what I want to encourage you to do from a coaching perspective. I, we got some great people on this call. Be purposeful about these events. If you go to Tony Robbins, if you go to John Maxwell, you go to something, look for the people in the room that are going to be impactful to your life and lock arms with them and make a point to exchange contact information. Make point to send them a thank you and a card or something when you're done. Be purposeful about adding people to your circle of influence because that is your circle. Show me who your five friends are and I'll show you who you are, right? And I just, I've always looked at that of like my five closest friends are who I am. And, you know, maybe ask yourself right now, who are my five closest friends? And is that who I really am or who I want to be? So I love it. Hey, I have some masterminds I'm putting on in the fall. So what I want to do is one of the things I learned today, because I'm here at Ray, was the importance of doing short contests, little bursts, a week, two weeks, a month. So what I'm going to do is over the next 30 days, whoever brings the most guests and front line, it's important for your front line to be at the event. So you can count your front line and you can count your guests, add them up, whoever brings the most to events. And if you, well, I'm going to, and if I'm going to attend seven events, well, you have an unfair advantage, but not really because you put yourself in a position to win. So whoever has the most guests, the top 10 of you, I'm going to let you come to a mastermind that I'm hosting in Puerto Rico with Jay. You already said yep, yes. I'm in. He remembers. My and I got Gene, Jay, and myself. We're putting a, a mastermind on in Puerto Rico. Yes, we'll be golfing. Right? Yep. Heck yeah. And we're going to be on the Naughty Nickel, and it's going to be fun. It's free to participate in the challenge. And fly yourself out there, and then the, you could Airbnb it, the Wyndham Resorts. Pretty cool. They upgraded that. And then if there's room, we'll throw you in a spare bedroom. And, uh, you know, he lives far away, but Gene and I are close to each other. We'll put you the naughty nickel, man. We'll play, we'll, uh, we'll sneak you on, and we'll put you the naughty. They have beautiful suites. We'll figure it out. So, but uh, no guarantee on the housing situation. But I'm going to, I'm, we're going to go off the honor system. And if you cheat, lie, and steal, God will get you. So I, we're going to go off the honor system. We're all men and women. Barton thought that was funny. So did David Mills. I love you guys. And Luann, she's like, what is he doing? So from today on, today is, what's the day today? The 23rd. So we'll go through the end of May, through May 31st. I'll give you an extra week, five weeks. You keep track. And then text me at the end of May. Hey, I had this many people to events. Count your front line. Now, if it's a husband and wife, you don't get to count two. That is one, right? So your front line, I don't I know how you guys are thinking already. It's like, well, he didn't say. I'm saying it's a business unit, right? So an individual or a couple count as one front line and guests because I want you to grow. I want to reward effort. That's one of the things they talk about. It's always like, well, whoever sells 10 homes gets this, or whoever sponsors five people gets this. They go, how many do contests that reward sheer effort? Because that everybody could participate. And um, we would love to have you. That event is going to be in November. Let me give you the date there. I got it right here. I even have it's the date for you. Too. Yeah. So I'm um, I'm going to give you the actual date of that event. This is a real thing. Let me see. 2024. Scrolling to November. And I am in November. The date is... Um, is it not in here? Why do I not see it? I want to say... Put it in here. Oh, that's just bizarre and weird. Brent, November 8th through 10th is what I have. Are, are, yeah. you talking about, are you talking about the... Yeah, yeah, yeah that's the one. There's that's another it. one I'm doing in December. That's different. It's, um, it's the November one. It's November 8th through 10. November 8th through 10. Oh, that's weird. I don't... 
I thought I put it in here. Uh, we've talked about it so much. We actually have an event flyer that we made for that. And check it out. There it is. There it is. Boom. Still so in Jay, progress. Uh, Jay, where's Jay? Hold on. Jay's on there. Where is he? We put him in there. Where is he? <laughs> Not his picture, but we put it. We Where is he? I know he's in there. Oh, is he? No. That I, was in the December one. I didn't know it was in the November one, too. Oh, well, sh- okay. Yeah. So this one is the one we're going to invite you to, November 8th and 9th. But Jay, if he's in town, we'll be there, too. Yeah. Or is this the one yeah. I invite you in? This is the one I put in my calendar. Okay, I but, think I... Hey, I'll go to two master myself. <laughs> All right, so this is the one specifically I'm going to invite you to, this one. Um, and so you got the dates, November 8th through 10th, and you can see we're organized. We're going to be running through the rainforest, running and gunning, playing golf. If the nine nickels import, we'll get on that. We're doing my house, Gene's house, Jay Kinder. And um, so I think I mixed him up and told him December. That's too funny. But we'll, we'll get... Uh, anyway, it's going to be awesome. Any final questions as we ran up to ramp up today's 1% club? Um, fire away. Anything goes? Anybody have a question? This is your chance. You got Randy Bird. You got me. You got some other maniacs in here. Carolyn had her hand up earlier. That was earlier. Oh, she's back up. She's doing it again. Go ahead, Carolyn. You got to unmute muted. yourself. You're muted. You're muted. You're still muted. There you go. I'm challenged with technology. Hi, Jay. I'm what still in the game. I'm in the <laughs> because of divorce. It's not fun, but I'm still playing. I'm going to, gosh, I can't see myself. I'm going to, um, wanted to see if this counts because I think it does. I'm, I've been in a golf tournament statewide, all the commercial. You know, I'm on commercial side. So, yeah. Um, yeah. We and I'm, I'm commercial I'm, agent. Listen, I, I'm being mentored by Bridget Richard. Yeah, I told you I'm going to crush it for you. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to be a high. Former certified coach. On the commercial side, I'm on this golf tournament and I'm networking, but actually I'm 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 um inviting them to be partners with me at EXP. Yeah. So um I'm, I've got several of those lined up and watch out. I'm gonna be in Puerto Rico in May. I'm telling you, I'll give you the business cards, I'll give you the relationship, I'll prove it to you. But um, well, it, I think it, that that's in November, count. just to clarify it is in November. I, oh no, I, I, no, no, you're gonna win by May, right? I'm, I'm working my yeah, by, for that. By, so, uh, um, May thirty first. It's really good because they're they're um I'm, I'm doing it like you say. I'm basically it's relationship. It's it's helping them with their business. It's um, and then they're they're like whatever it is you do, I want to do it with you. <laughs> I oh, love you it. Know, right? hey, you know what it is you do because it's like seven. It's seven touches, and I'm finding on the third or fourth touch at these networking events, they're like, "Darn it, Kellen, what is it exactly you do? Whatever it is, I want to figure out how to have you part of what I do because it's like this is good." And so it's 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 what you're you guys are teaching me. So I want to say thank you. And um, I'm still playing the game, baby. I'm in. Right and on. I right need on. you. I don't usually say that. I work from a position of strength, but I need you. I usually say I want it, but I really need you guys, and it's really helped me in my journey. Thank awesome. you. Wonderful. So I will say this: Carolyn brings up a really uh, wonderful point. If you bring guests to Rate, Rate isn't an EXP event, but trust me that Leo, our new CEO, is speaking on uh, not tomorrow. Jay's speaking tomorrow. I spoke today. Leo's speaking Thursday. But you bring them and, and you spend time with them. So I'll count it. I did, what I want you to do is do What John- is Rate? What's uh, Rate? Radio and TV Experts LLC. It's Matt Wagner. It's out here and stuff. So but bring people, if, if you bring people to events and, and, and you fly together and you hang out and you you grow together, they will naturally, and then don't talk to them about EXP until they want to. Now, they, they'll be like, hey, how's the EXP going? It's going great, man. How are you doing? Don't just really take that first. They were just being polite. Love you. They're just being polite. All of a sudden, you just 40 minutes later, they're exhausted, right? Right. Use some social intelligence on that. Michael, thank you very much, Carolyn. Michael Dougal, fire away, baby. Hello, hello. Thank you so much. Uh, you guys all, all bring great value. I have a question for Jay specifically. Um, uh, Jay, um, your training uh, you did at Build 21, which is on YouTube. I watched it 10 times. So thank you so much for putting it out there. I'm wondering, um, bringing people in, did you always have them like, uh, did you always have them build? Or um, could you shed some light on that? Like, have you? Have you been through I a stage where I always show everyone? I always mm. show 
everyone the opportunity because you don't know who's going to be like, what? Now, hold on a second. Show me that again. Now, mm-hmm. what are you doing over here? Like, the, I, so I always show the opportunity. Always, always, always. And so, like, you know, some people say they're going to do it and they don't. Mm-hmm. And then some people say they're going to do it and they surprise you and they actually do it. And so to me, I'm, I'm looking for whatever they're trying to do and trying to connect them. Um, mm-hmm. The best thing that we ever did was, I mean, you know, that, and you guys all know this already. Hopefully, if not, you should all have the book Building an Empire. That is literally that presentation is what that book is. The this comes directly from the book. Like everything we did, we yeah. literally translated it from that book. And the real power was in you know, the real power in growth. And what I saw was when I got people following that process, doing a three way call, doing events, having conversations, using the script. If I would you like that was the heart and soul of everything that we've done here. Like it, it's everything. It's everything. Like. Mm-hmm. It's, so like that, so then, probably, I wish everyone would follow it. It's it's the probably the also the most frustrating thing is how many times I say it over and over and over, and you know there's only a handful of people that really follow that process to the T. But that's I don't know if that answered your question because I think I could yeah um so I, um yeah and and it does that's that's obviously helpful. The the past couple of years as we've been in this market shift, uh, it seems like a lot of people are moving for production and to increase their production. So when are you bringing in the conversation about? You know, building an empire. Are you doing it at the beginning as you're onboarding them? Is it afterwards? Yeah, great question. I, I think I, I my my personal belief is if you're if you're following this process, uh, we have a video that we share. Brent Go's video, the nine minute video that's in and CRM Grow. We created one that was um, a little bit less EXP in the beginning, and then it brings up EXP at the end. Um, I think is if I can get someone to consume that content, they're mm-hmm. way more open to the conversation afterwards. Like that's. That's really if you can just get get somebody excited enough. And this is the key, like this is the skill set you really have to develop. Get somebody excited enough that they'll at least consume a a basic piece of content about what the opportunity is. Like that's a really big thing, like whether it's coming to an event or watching a video or, you know, seeing a live presentation. That was the key part. I'm not very valuable on a three way call. If they haven't done that, I can still do them. It just takes an hour. Right. Like I got to take them carry a heavier load to get them to the opportunity. But that mm-hmm. that is absolutely um, the process that I would recommend is, you know, get them at least interested enough to watch a video about what the opportunity is with the XP. And, you know, that's the skill you have to develop. You got to get creative with how you, how you introduce it, how you think it's going to solve their problems. For us, I mean, you know, in, in Brent's video, he talks about the lead generation. Like, there's no real estate agent on the planet I've ever met that said, I've got more leads than I know what to do with. Not one. So, <laughs> okay. mm-hmm. right? It's every single day. Hey, man, if you have more leads, do you think you'd sell more houses? Man, you got to watch this video, right? Like, that's, you know, if that's their biggest problem, it, it all ties back to the piece of core content that we want them to consume so we can get them to someone else to make the sell. And that's the big, like, this is where the ball gets dropped in, in multiple ways, right? Like, you either drop the ball on how you introduced it or you drop the ball on trying to sell them afterwards. But if you can just invite, 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 get more people through that process and then getting them to that three-way call, that's where the gold is. Like, I feel like the most valuable days I've ever had at EXP are when I had 10, 15 three-way calls scheduled in my calendar. I feel like I make a difference in those situations because I know how to connect the dots and show people how, hey, man, all right, well, this is what you're trying to do, man. Well, let's do the math on where you're at now. Now I can start breaking down the walls a little bit. And they're open to it because they don't really see me as recruiting them. They don't think I benefit from that, right? Like they're not thinking that way. It doesn't feel that way to them, right? So if I'm being edified as just a guy that can help them, then it doesn't feel like that person's trying to sell them. So their guard is let down, right? So huge, huge thing. But yeah, I, I think that's the the way to, to way to do it for sure. I'd like to- Amazing, yeah. thank you. That was good. A uh, quick question. We said, let's do the math of where you're at and where you want to go. Well, give us an example. Yeah, so, so I'd be like, okay, man, well, tell me, you know, tell me, tell me, you know, about your, tell me about yourself, right? This is Gene Frederick 101, guys. Like, you did not, not, right, right. not, not, nothing rocket science. They've folks. never heard that. Right. And so, you know, tell, tell me about yourself. They start telling you about what their, where, you know, what their production is. Well, well, where would you like for it to be in, in, you know, the next 12 months, 24 months? Good, I, good. I want to future pace them to where they would like to be, where there's a gap. And then, Okay, well, so so let me ask you this: Where where are you at now? Okay, I'm at Remax. Okay, well, what are you paying? So, what do the fees look like? Okay, so you did this amount of production, so you probably paid about sixteen, eighteen thousand dollars, is what it sounds like, right? Okay, well, well, you know, you watch the video. First of all, when I start the conversation on those three way calls, I'm I'm asking, what did you like about what you saw? 
because I want to know what they what they did like about what they saw. And I also think it's super important to be able to track whether they watch the video or not. That's that's an important piece. If they say they watch and they didn't, then, you know, now you, you don't know if you really have a qualified prospect. Right. So, and, and, you know, this is this is a hard sell to recruit to EXP because there's a lot for them to understand. Right. So, you know, I used the analogy I may use the last time we, we, I was on this call with you guys. But, you know, the, it's easy to sell flex seal tape. Right. Like they they put a screen door on the bottom of a boat and they spray paint it, you know, and drove across. OK, I know what that shit does. Right. Very easy to sell something you can demonstrate. This is an education sell. You have to educate them. Right. And they're, you know, the best tallest trees have the deepest roots. So it's not going to be an easy, you know, an easy conversion. But they need to at least understand some of the pieces. And you got to figure out what is it that they were, are interested in most. Man, that lead generation sounded really interesting. Right. I'm not getting that where I'm at. Right. So that now I know what their hot button is so I can come back to that later. Right. And make sure, hey, listen, you talked about lead generation. If I can help you get to an extra, you know, an extra two deals a month in lead generation by showing you the systems and process we built. Did you think that would, you know, would, do you think this would be something you'd be open to? Normally, by the end of that call, they are to a point where they say, man, this sounds great. What's the next step? If it's the, if, if they were re really, truly ready, you're going to that's what you're going to hear on those three way calls. Hey, man, well, this sounds great. What's the next step? But if they're interested in revenue share, be like, OK, man. So, and, and if you get to the end of that call, this is another mistake I made for the longest time. I had way too many calls. I didn't do this. And, you know, is, is you know, if they said revenue share was their interest, their their thing they were most interested in that got their attention the most. They said, well, how much money would you need to be making? Say this time, let's say it's 12 months from now. How much money would you need to be making a month to say this is the best decision you ever made? And let them tell you, ironically. 80% of the people say five grand a month. That's about the, that's the normal thing I hear all the time. Wow. And so that's a really, you know, getting this and say, okay, well, it sounds like what we should do. Cause they didn't say, Hey, what's the next step. If I don't hear that, then I'm, then I'm taking them to, Hey, well, let's get on a, a call and let's break down exactly how we're going to help you do that. Right now I'm scheduling that next call. I'm not letting it go into the black hole of no follow-up and everything else. So, so good. Like, but again, yeah, I'm glad you watched that 10 times. Number one, watch it 10 more times. Like it is literally all the gold is built into into yeah. into that process. And then, yep. you know, thank you, Brian Carruthers. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And thank you, Michael Dougal, for bringing that up. Randy Bird, you want to have the last word? Negative. Not after Jay. Okay. All right. That was that was super good. I will say this. I, I hope you're hungry. I hope you want it so bad. You just have a burning desire that pulsates in your chest. And if you're frustrated and mad and angry, it, 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 good. Let it move you forward and take action. Like go nuts. You have five weeks to go put in massive action, get people to events, talk to them, help them come hang out with us in November. We promise you'll have a great time. By the way, if you already qualified to be at that trip, I will deliver something extra special for you. Some of you already qualified to be there through giving. Um, I think everyone, that particular event is uh, $500 a month to, to children mm -hmm. and orphans and widows. And so thank you. So if you've already qualified, yep, if you've already qualified to our sell a home, save a child, mastermind in where oh, he's got Jay on there. Yeah, I man. Gonna if, I was going to see if people wanted to take a screenshot real quick of this just so they had it. Yep, take a screenshot of that. Good job, Rob. Looking good. Look how quick he is. That's, yeah, that's it. My man's got a Rob on the desktop. Rob is elite level talent. Is, and um, so, yep, yep, yep. So we'll say that. And be careful booking the Wyndham. There is a fake website that took $8,000 from one of our EXP agents, and it was fake. Yeah, they showed up on a Saturday night. And uh, they went to check in like, that was a fraudulent website. He's like, I paid in full. They gave me a good deal. They, yeah. So all I'm watching on Facebook, there's a raging party on my patio. I'm like, that's my patio. I didn't know anybody. A bunch of Minnesotans. Shelly put them in my house. Oh, I, I was gone. Yeah, it was fine. I that's awesome. Care. Yeah, we share. <laughs> all you can book the Wyndham through Travelocity and Expedia, both reputable. And uh, you'll make sure you have a, a, a guarantee. Yes. So be careful. Make sure you're actually talking to Wyndham. There's Airbnbs. Um, I have one. Everyone's got Airbnbs. Plus there's some room at my house, Gene's house, the naughty nickel. You know, we'll triple stack the naughty nickel, Gene. Top down, Gene. <laughs> anyway, so uh, love you guys. Yeah.